a big name for himself. One look at that dopey grin, and I know what you are. A fanboy. Uh, sort of. <laughs> I love my hero academia it is easily one of the greatest anime that i have ever seen and is one of the best examples of why i love anime as a whole if i were to review it i would end the review by saying it was a 10 out of 10 masterpiece it went beyond any expectations i had going into it filled me with hype emotions and even inspired me to want to be a hero as well so i don't think that a simple review could do it justice i mean i could get into all the good and bad and all that but i just do not feel that it's the way I want to approach a show that I like as much as this. So instead, what I want to do is to delve into the different aspects that make the show so great, each with their own video. This is inspired by Digibro's 12-part Asterix War Sucks series because I thought it'd be fun to take his idea and twist it into proclaiming my love for one of my favorite shows. Now, I understand that not everyone will like Boku no Hero as much as I do. According to Mal, over 400,000 people have finished season 1, and less than 18,000 people have one of the seasons on their favorites list, so the vast majority of people don't like it as much as I do. And what is interesting about Boku no Hero is that oftentimes its greatest strengths are also its greatest weaknesses. It just depends on your mindset. There is little about this show conceptually that makes it different than your typical action shonen. You have teenagers with superpowers, and they fight bad guys who also have superpowers. The main character is an underdog with a heart of gold, and you want to root for him. Society has written him off as weak, but he ends up saving the day in a way that only he can. Plus, you have things like friendship, hard work, and courage all uh, exalted by the show. And yeah, while I am talking about Boku no Hero here, it could easily apply to many other shows as well. But these are the reasons that I love the show. Not because it is anything new, but because it connects so well with my own taste and even values as a person. Because I have always loved shonen anime, even before I knew what anime was. One of my first anime was Digimon, and it laid the foundation for what I love to see in anime. We have heroes fighting evil to save the world, and they have cool powers. It was a show where courage and friendship were what gave the heroes the power they needed to fight. And then, as I got older, I discovered shows like Dragon Ball Z and Roroni Kenshin, and while these shows certainly are quite different, at the core they still had what I loved. Larger than life heroes fighting against villains. One of the things that Kenshin did that I specifically liked was how it gave a lot of focus to a hero with a past that he was trying to overcome. And this is not completely unlike All Might in Boku no Hero. And I also liked how Yahiko grew through his time with Kenshin, again, not unlike Deku and All Might. I do love all the idealism that much of the action shonen genre embodies. They proclaim that a hero can make a difference in the world and that evil can be defeated by good. The world is not that simple though. So I love when a show can focus on these questions, have the heroes see that their grand dreams may not be achievable, but that there is still something worth fighting for and a difference that can be made by those who choose to do good. Kenshin embodied this challenge of seeing the way the world really was and fighting for peace regardless. A few years after watching Kenshin, I started to get into long-running anime like Naruto, Bleach, and Fairy Tail. Naruto specifically is one that I still feel fondly about today, despite its many flaws. At its core, it is a show about an underdog doing something great, and all the parallels it draws between the ideal seeking Naruto and the other characters give a message of hope. The world may not be fair. There may be loss and suffering, or even overwhelming pain, but you can still choose to fight for what is right. Boku no Hero took a lot of inspiration from Naruto, with the story of the underdog being one of the similar elements. Once I've moved beyond the long-running shows, I ended up getting into shows like Full Metal Alchemist and Soul Eater. Soul Eater was all about the power of friendship, but done in a good way. It also dealt with facing down fear, whether it be from a character's past, an enemy in front of them, or even the demons inside. Then we had FMA, which is darker than most other shonen that I'd seen before. The ideal to fight in order to make a better world was still there, even when it may have took a great sacrifice to do so. It didn't shy away from the difficulties in the world or the mistakes the characters made, but it was about moving forward regardless. Since then, I've moved on to more of the seasonal anime, along with some less mainstream shows, and I've enjoyed a lot of the other shonen that I've come across. Shows like Kill la Kill and Busa Rankin celebrate the ridiculousness of some of these tropes, and then you have things like Fate Stay Night, which is about chasing a foolish but worthwhile ideal, and then you have things like Gintama, which is about how to live once your ideal is lost. 
Even the less critically acclaimed shows like Taboo, Tattoo, Don Machi, or SAO, I can enjoy for seeing a hero fight to overcome evil to protect those they care about. And even the less action-oriented shown in anime like Haikyuu, Assassination Classroom, or even Momo Curry, I find inspiring because the characters wanted to chase their dreams or overcome their past to make a difference in the world or just be a better person than they were before. So with all these ideals that shonen anime embodies, is it any surprise that I would love Boku no Hero too? You might be surprised by the fact that Boku no Hero is one of my favorite anime, but if so, then you don't really know me or the types of shows I enjoy. The ideals and themes that fill Boku no Hero are ones that have been around for many years. The ideals and themes that fill Boku no Hero are not new. They have been around for many years uh, through shonen anime, and these are the ones that make the genre what it is and makes me and others love it so much. There are those that see these ideals are immature and unrealistic, and well, they're not wrong. The world we live in isn't one with a firm line between good and evil. Sometimes to overcome evil, good people must do bad things, and sometimes evil must be so powerful that a hero can't just come along and defeat it. But I don't believe that just because the world isn't one where a hero can simply save the day doesn't mean that we shouldn't strive to make the world a better place. Maybe one person cannot save the world, but I believe everyone can make a small difference. They can fight against evil in small ways, change the world one small battle at a time. And having stories like these anime can inspire people to be the change in the world, and there's no reason to be ashamed if you are someone who likes these type of stories and embraces these ideals. One of my favorite quotes is from the author C.S. Lewis, which says, When I was ten, I read fairy tales in secret and would have been ashamed if I had been found doing so. Now that I am I read them openly. When I became a man, I put away childish things, including the fear of childishness and the desire to be very grown up. And these anime are my fairy tales. They're the stories that may be for those younger, but can still resonate with me just like when I was younger. So instead of disregarding such shows as childish, I instead embrace them for what they are and what they represent. So it makes perfect sense that when a show comes along with like Boku no Hero, with a concept I've seen and liked before, that I would like it once again. And it's not like Boku no Hero is filled with just blind idealism. Deku and All Might's raw determination are shown to be destructive at times. And as the show gets further along, we start to see more of the dark side of their society. But it is these dark and more realistic parts that make me love the idealism even more. The show is still very idealistic, but by holding to these ideals in the face of the dark parts of the world, that's what makes the show so inspiring. So yes, I love action shonen. I have for as long as I can remember and probably will as long as I live. But just because a show is an action shonen doesn't automatically mean that I would love it. It may give the show an advantage, but it all comes down to the execution, which is what I will discuss in the remainder of these videos. So, I hope you've enjoyed the start to what is probably my craziest idea yet. Yep, uh, we'll see how long this actually takes me to edit and record and write and all that. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I will see you all next time.